Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today, we're going to quickly cover the details for the new JP data download that just happened, I want to say about 10-15 minutes ago. And I'm pretty sure the only things that were added to the game through this data download were the details for two new Dokkan Awakenings for the World Tournament STR Aider as well as this AGL base Vegito, who I'm personally pretty freaking stoked for, and uh, also the new World Tournament Reward Tech Mecha Frieza. As always, a huge shout out to Goresh for all these translations. We appreciate you. And why don't we get started with the Aider first and just go down in order, all right? So first thing I wanna mention is that this art is freaking sick. Okay, that is some dope ass art right there, especially for a free to play unit. And uh, when we get into the details, you guys will see he's pretty ridiculous, man. Like these world tournament units are getting just crazier and crazier. I mean, the only reason they're not busted, I would say, is because their stats are pretty lackluster. Like if you look at the max stats here for the Aider, he maxes out at 11,534 attack and 6,700 defense. But uh, their passives are just insane like same thing for the agl vegeta which you'll see in a second but let's start with the aider first his leader skill is s tier types key plus two hp attack and defense plus 70 percent super attack fist of rage causes supreme damage and lowers attack and defense with a medium chance to stun and his passive is giving thanks to goku attack plus 150 percent and guard activated against all attacks for three turns after receiving attack, gain 8% damage reduction, because he's Aider, of course, so of course it's 8% for Aider. Uh, every time attack is, attack is received, max of 40%, and attack and defense plus 120% when there is a Goku's family category ally on the team. So if you have a Goku's family unit on the team as well, which is pretty easy to satisfy, you just have a Goku on the team or something like that, he's getting 200 and 70% attack and defense up to 40% damage reduction and also guarding against all attacks uh, for three turns after receiving an attack. Um, that's pretty crazy, man. Like, like I said, these <laughs> world tournament units are getting pretty crazy. Um, if he had better stats, he would probably be considered busted. But even now, without like the premium stats, he's still a very, very good unit. And his links are Infighter, Tough as Nails, Guidance of the Dragon Balls, Incredible Adventure, Android Assault, Gentleman, and Shattering the Limit. This DB Saga team is looking better and better with every awakening. Seriously, like they're giving these DB Saga units some pretty wild awakenings. And uh, categories are Androids, DB Saga, and Explosion of Anger. So I'm a big fan of this Aider right here. He's going to be really good, especially for people like Jay Fanta, who like to run a lot of free-to-play units. Um... Wait, I mean, is he technically free to play in J Fanta's eyes? I don't really know, actually. Are world tournament units considered free to play? Anyways, um, yeah, he's really, really good, guys. So we got the Aider here. Let's move on to the Vegito. And he is uh, quite insane as well. So leader skill is AGL types, keep plus two. HP, attack and defense, plus 70%. Super attack, big bang attack, causes supreme damage, and raises allies attack by 25% for one turn. And his passive is remarkable difference. Attack and defense plus 120% and gains an additional attack and defense plus 120% and key plus 2 and great chance to evade enemies attacks as the first attacker in a turn. Super class allies attack and defense plus 30%. So not only is he a support still, but now he's getting up to 240% and an extra 2 key and a great chance to evade all attacks, which is 70% as the first attacker in a turn. 240% attack and defense, key plus two, great chance to evade. Superclass allies attack and defense plus 30%. So actually, it's actually, if you combine everything, it's 270% attack and defense with the support too, right? So, uh, wow, like this, this is just crazy. This is, they're, they're throwing some insane, insane percentages out there. Like it's nothing, man. Um, and once again, if this dude had like regular stats of like 15,000 attack or something like that, he would be absolutely broken. But because he maxes out at 10,834 attack, 
he's still really good, but not like out of bounds, like crazy good, right? Um, but amazing awakening nonetheless. Let's move on to the Mecha Frieza here, which is the new world tournament reward for this upcoming world tournament on JP. And uh, his leader skill is extreme tech types key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 70%, super attack death blaster causes supreme damage and lowers attack. And his passive is simultaneous attack commences. Attack and defense plus 70% gains an additional attack and defense plus 50% if there is a wicked bloodline category, uh, category ally attacking in the same turn. And also revenge category allies attack plus 20% defense plus 10%. So if you include this uh, support part two, he's giving himself basically 100 and... Uh, hold on, 120%, 140% attack and 10% defense uh, if you have a Wicked Bloodline category ally attacking in the same turn. So obviously not as good as the other two, but this is not even a Dokken Awaken unit yet. So I assume in the future, he's going to have a, a very crazy, you know, stupid broken passive two. And at that point, it's probably going to be like 350% or something like that, right? Because that's going to be in the future. So uh, he's good too. Obviously not as good as the other two Dokken Awakenings, but still very impressive. Uh, Link's Prodigies, Fear and Faith, Universe Survival, uh, Universe, not, not Universe Survival Saga, Universe Most Malevolent, Revival, Mechanical Men Menaces, and Strongest Clan in Space. As categories are Resurrected Warriors, Transformation Boost, Wicked Bloodline, Android Slash Cell Saga, Terrifying Conquerors, Target Goku, Revenge, and Diabolical Villains. I don't think I went through the links actually of the Vegito here. I think I was too excited about the passive. Okay, so his links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Prepare for Battle, Power Bestowed by God, Fuse Fighter, Brainiacs, and Shattering the Limit. And his categories are Majin Buu Saga, Patara, and Last Resort. So there you go, guys. Uh, I think that's everything that came with this data download. I might be missing something, but I uh, haven't been able to find anything. And uh, once again, big shout out to Goresh for the translations. We appreciate you, man. Uh, this video obviously wouldn't be possible without him. So uh, yeah, guys, that is today's video. That's all I got to say. Uh, once again, these world tournament units are getting way too good, man. Like, <laughs> I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining for sure. They're free to play. Uh, anybody can get them. So it's, it's awesome, actually. But I'm just surprised, to be honest. I'm surprised that they're this good. So um, yeah, that, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about each of these units, these two awakenings, as well as the new Mecha Frieza. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.